Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Kakadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone, Ruel. And peace, love, and salutation to you, Akim, that's pushing his truth and truth with sincerity. I'm going to start off in 2 Corinthians 5 and 17. It says, Therefore, if any man be in a Mashiach, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. And the topic that I want to get into for today is uh, patience. <clears throat> now, on the online etymology, patience is a noun from the 1200s. It says, uh, quality of being willing to bear adversities, calm endurance of misfortune, suffering. All right, so patience is to suffer. Uh, let me go to another definition from the Latin patientia, patientia, the quality of suffering or enduring, submission, all right? So uh, in this truth, we learn the, uh, the art of patience. Now, it doesn't happen overnight because we live in this microwave, hurry up, hurry up now society known as uh, Babylon. You know, this whole uh, beast system is, is predicated on hurry up. That's why Esau is trying to make a, a fast move to incorporate this so-called uh, New World Order. Okay? But that's in the know-how. <clears throat> we have to have uh, uh, patience and exhibit more more patience. And uh, we're coming into the days that we're coming into with the return of uh, Yahweh Shai. Alright? We have to be uh, more uh, patient in all things. So, uh, with that, I'm going to get into a few scriptures, and Lord willing, uh, you're edified. So, I'm going to start off in Romans, the fifth chapter. <clears throat> okay, Romans chapter 5, verse 1. It says, Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with the Most High, through our Lord, Yahweh Shah HaMashiach. By whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of the Most High. And we're in a good position right now. You know, we're, we're on the winning team. All right. We're in this period of grace, but that doesn't mean, you know, you start doing a bunch of wickedness like the Christian church uh, promotes. Verse 3, and not only so, but we glory in tribulations. Also, knowing that tribulation work of patience. Look, let's look at this word tribulation in the uh, online etymology. Okay, tribulation is a noun. And it reads, a state of affliction or oppression. And that, that's America for you, man. Suffering, distress. All right, we go through all types of tribulations and more to come. You know, the persecution is coming. You know, Jacob's trouble is coming, which you got some cats that don't even believe in Jacob's trouble. But um, we're coming into a time where there's going to be a lot of uh, a suffering, all right? A lot of tribulations. But we're um, being tested out and tried out and Lord willing, we're that goal. We're going through these tribulations right now. Now the world is catching up, okay? Some of us might have uh, been homeless, some of us might have lost homes along the way, even before we came into this truth. Lost women, lost jobs, lost family members, hey, lost pets, you know. We're going, we're going through it right now, all right, so we can come out on top. And that's what patience is, suffering through these uh, tribulations that we go through in our, our, on our day-to-day. -day. Verse 3, and not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation work of patience. All right, patience is the ability to endure suffering, to suffer. Verse 4, and patience, experience. And when you go through that patience, you're able to um, uh, put out that experience, you know, to a brother. Well, you know, I was dealing with this situation and um, through the patience that the Lord has given me in my life, you know, I was able to endure. You know, I did this, I did that. It says, and patience, experience, and experience hope. And hope maketh not a shame, 
because the love of the Most High is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit, which is given unto us. So I'm going to go to Romans chapter 8. Go down to verse 24. And it reads, For we are saved by hope. There goes that word hope again. Let's, let's see what hope means in the online etymology. Okay. Uh, hope is a verb. And it says, uh, Old English, Hopian, have the theological virtue of hope. Hope for salvation. Hope for mercy. And that's what we're looking forward to. We're hoping for salvation to get away from this present even evil, evil, wicked world and the destruction that's coming. And we're also looking for mercy to be delivered, to be beamed up into those chariots and that the Lord have mercy on us when he brings this destruction, when he brings those missiles. Lord willing, the Lord has mercy on us in those days. <clears throat> Verses, uh, let's start from 24 again. Romans 8, 24. For we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why doth he yet hope for? Yeah, we're hoping for things we haven't seen, which is the kingdom of heaven. Verse 25, but if we hope for that we see not, then do we with patience wait for it. All right, we suffer through these trials and tribulations and this faith for things that we haven't seen, the kingdom of heaven, and it's going to be worth it. All right, this, these, these things that we're going through is building us up. For the time that's at hand and the rewards that come um, with being a servant of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shad. Alright, so hey, it, se it <laughs> seems to me that uh, patience and hope are synonymous with each other. They go hand in hand. Okay? Alright, from then on, let's go to Romans 15. Alright, Romans 15 and 4, I believe. Yep. Romans 15 and 4, for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Reading these accounts um, of our forefathers, okay? Even our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, is the ultimate example of uh, uh, patience, man, especially when it, he dealt with those uh, wicked, uh, um, wicked uh, chief high, the, the wicked chief high priest, Caiaphas, the wicked scribes and Pharisees, um, Pilate, suffering on the cross. That's the ultimate example of uh, patience. So we have these scriptures to remind us of uh, the art of being patient. And, and that also goes into, uh, you know, um, life outside. Um, or just going to the highways and byways and doing these lessons. You might have some type of business. You know, the patience that we have... Uh, patience that we have now in this faith it helps us deal with you know um, starting up a business um, dealing with uh, you know your, your, uh, your friends and family uh, dealing with different situations in the world you, you already have that patience you already have that ability to suffer and that that's experience that you take with you along the way okay like I said you might be uh, waiting for something that might be physical, and you have to exhibit uh, patience. Okay, like like starting up a business, learning a new trade. That takes a whole lot of patience. It's not going to happen overnight. So likewise, hey, the kingdom of heaven is not going to happen overnight. Okay, when we first come into this thing, you know, we thinking your house is going to come back in six months, and then three, four, five, six, ten, eleven, twelve years later, okay, we're still in that um, mind state of pushing. All right, and hastening the day of the Lord. Okay, that goes into patience. Now, um, verse Romans 15 and 5. Now the power of patience and consolation grant you to be like-minded one toward another according to Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, that you may with one mind and one mouth glorify the Most High, even the Father of our Lord Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. Okay. And um, I got another scripture uh, back in the Old Testament. <clears throat> this is uh, Psalm 25. I think it's verse 5. Yep. Psalm 25 and 5. Lead me in thy truth and teach me, for thou art the power of my salvation. On thee do I wait all the day. All right, waiting goes into a being patient. 
we have to wait on the Lord. All right. And as we can see, the Lord is doing this thing. You know, even here in the United States, you had this um, at the top of the year. You had this Capitol Hill riots. Texas just froze over. You know, um, we're still in March, so we'll, we'll see what happens, you know. But uh, the Lord is doing his thing, and we're just sitting back being patient and watching the show, okay, watching this place unfold. The Lord is going to take this place out piece by piece, so we have to be patient, okay. And the apostles and elders, from their experience being in this truth, and them um, being patient and suffering, I have examples of men that, uh, you know, left the truth because of their uh, lack of patience, man. Okay? And um, I just got one more scripture to uh, finish this lesson out. And this is the exact opposite of uh, patience. Alright, this scripture is not the way to go. This is Luke 9 and 62. Uh, Luke 9 and 62, and Yahweh Shah said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow, and looking back, is fit for the kingdom of the Most High. That's a lack of patience. You didn't want to suffer. You know, you don't want to suffer through uh, getting rebuked and reproved. You don't want to go out there and suffer during the elements. You don't want to suffer the so-called ridicule of this world. You know, that's a lack of patience. All right, with that lack of patience, man, <clears throat> comes the uh, the exact opposite, man. Not have not getting any mercy, not getting any any salvation, and being destroyed. So, in these last days, it's imperative to have patience, especially here in Babylon the Great, with with seeing all these freaks and geeks and weirdos. Hey, we're looking for salvation and mercy from this uh bullcrap that we see every day, man. So. Hey, Lord willing, that was edifying once again. I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makakadash, double honor to the apostles and elders, great millstone, and uh, peace, love, and salutation to you, Akim, that's pushing His truth and true sincerity. Shalom.